Hi, and welcome to our class in financial risk management um, here at Leipzig University. Um, this semester um, is done via online teaching again, so you probably um, are e either here on Zoom or uh, on YouTube. And uh, as I just uh, told you, um, first of all, uh, today I want to talk about some some organization, the organization of this class and uh, how, um, for example, so the exam will be done. Um, just a quick reminder, um, you probably have seen the Moodle website. Um, uh, the slides can be uh, downloaded from Moodle, um, should be the version 1.2 uh, from 2021. Um, there are some slides I deleted from the previous version, so it's slightly different from last year, uh, but actually there is um, I think there is nothing new in the script. Only um, I deleted some parts which are, uh, which were not that relevant. I think to our discussion of financial risk management. Okay, so um, this is the outline of the class today. We'll be talking about the course organization. Um, we'll start with uh, a small discussion of uh, why we need risk management in the first place. What is risk management, and why it is necessary for a company for a risk manager. Uh, to do risk management in order to increase or at least stabilize shareholder value. Um, we'll then go through the usual process of risk management. We'll start by uh, defining different types of financial risk in a company. We'll then uh, identify those elementary risk factors that um, when combined usually form a risk and a risk exposure to a company. We'll then move on to risk measurement and, and uh, risk modeling. Um, then back testing and stress testing is uh, an important part nowadays in uh, practical risk management. And then in chapter six and seven we'll talk about basically the main strategy how to deal with risk that is hedging and hedging is done via financial derivatives so we first need to have a good understanding of what financial derivatives are how they work and how they can be priced so that in chapter seven we are able to employ these financial derivatives in hedging strategies so this is the outline um, as we go along you will see uh, what is included in all these chapters and if you download this set of slides from Moodle you can already um, look through the slides. Um, so let's start with the course organization. Some basic information first. This is a three hours um, um, lecture and uh, module. We have this two hours lecture weekly here via online teaching um, and uh, one hour online videos. Um, please check AlmaWeb. Um, I think this uh, year again it will be done uh, online live. Um, by my uh, PhD student, um, Philip Schana. Um, it's an optional or elective uh, course in the Bachelor in Economics, um, but of course you can also choose it in, for example, uh, business education, management information systems, um, which is informatic, which is pedagogy, even if you are um, studying mathematics or computer science. Um, it will give you five ECTS uh, credit points and the assessment uh, that is uh, the current status is a written exam of 60 minutes. Now, um, if the pandemic um, hasn't resolved until July, I'm pretty sure it will be an online take-home exam. But um, currently we are expecting that uh, we might be able to have a written exam of 60 minutes. Now, if you are an exchange student, uh, for example, uh, in the Erasmus, Erasmus Plus uh, programs, um, you can choose between a written exam at the end or the regular um, exam or writing an Erasmus paper. The Erasmus paper is the same as in any as of our other classes. Um, the um, Erasmus paper is uh, a term paper, 12 to 15 pages on a self-chosen subject. The deadline for handing in the term paper is end of July. <clears throat> the practical reason for this is that I need to grade them and uh, you should be able to get your grades before um, the end of September. Um, please hand in your term paper via email to um, our group secretary, um, which can be, uh, can be reached via uh, banken at vifa.uni-leipzig.de. Um, for the information on the exam, 
If the university is open, you can check the information from our exam office, Prüfungsmanagement, which is on the first floor of the Institutsgebäude, or please check the information on the website if the buildings are still closed. Okay, now again, all the material um, can now be found on a Moodle um, website, so please check Moodle uh, and look for financial risk management in this semester. Um, you can also uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, now, Twitter is not necessary for passing the exam or taking this class, but if you're more interested in some um, research and some business practice, uh, some industry information on risk management, maybe systemic risk, but also on some other topics, um, from time to time I will be retweeting and uh, tweeting on Twitter <coughs> on these um, topics. So you can just click here on this uh, logo and then you can subscribe um, to my Twitter account. Um, as you're probably just uh, watching this video, you probably have already found the YouTube channel, but if uh, not, if you only have the set of slides, you can also click on this YouTube logo and then you can subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel where we upload all the lectures and uh, the videos of the lectures uh, throughout this semester. Um, we do have two mailing lists. Uh, one is at Banken and the, well, the other one is Jobs Bank Fin. The reason for this is why uh, why we have this is um, there are some faculties um, who do not you which do not use uh, Alma Web. Now, usually, if I have any information that uh, is relevant to this class, I will send an email via uh, Alma Web. But as there are some faculties who, uh, which are not using Alma Web, uh, it's best uh, to subscribe to this uh, mailing list as well. So if there is anything happening, if there's, for example, if there is um, um, a lecture um, that um, cannot take place, for example, I will send an email to this um, mailing list. The second one, Jobs Bank Fin, is only for job posting. So if you're interested in uh, job offers uh, from companies, internships, um, uh, student jobs. Uh, I will be um, forwarding those job offers via this mailing list. Okay. Contact via email, most uh, probably best way. Um, you can also schedule a meeting if the buildings are open in person or via Skype um, um, by going to calumly.com slash Gregor Weiss. Um, it's linked to my Outlook calendar, so um, you will be offered the free slots in my calendar, uh, in my um, office hour, and um, you can also write me an email, probably the easiest. Okay, now there are some textbooks you can use, but actually you don't need those. Uh, the set of slides is uh, self-contained, there is everything uh, on the slides you will be needing for the exam, but if you're more interested in the topic of financial risk management, I can advise you to take a look at this textbook, which is also, the original is in English, so it's available in German and English, Risk Management by uh, John Hull from the University of Toronto. Very, very good textbook. The second one is much more qualitative and only a few parts are actually from this book, but this is the standard textbook, I would say, on quantitative risk management. It's uh, Quantitative Risk Management by McNeil Frey Embrechts. Uh, I think it's already in the second edition. Um, very, very good, but highly quantitative and l uses a lot of math and statistics. So this is only for those interested in quantitative risk management. And last but not least, there are some parts that are also included in the banking textbook by Hartmann, Wendel, Sphinx and Weber. So you can also check this one. This is the standard textbook textbook in German on banking. Okay. Additionally, uh, John Hall also has a famous textbook on options, futures and derivatives. Um, and uh, this um, is obviously most relevant to chapter six and seven when we are talking about derivatives and hedging. Okay. Now, what do I want to achieve with this class? Uh, I want to give you a first introduction to financial risk management. Mostly at financial institutions, it can also be used in uh, energy companies, um, but uh, and also large industrial companies like Daimler, BMW, of course. Um, but 
Um, the types of risk we'll be dealing with um, are special usually to financial institutions, banks and insurance companies. <clears throat> but um, as you can imagine, industrial companies also have some financial risk. For example, the Daimler obviously has commodity risk, currency risk, foreign exchange risk. Um, so you can also use the methods you will be learning here in this class um, in the context of industrial companies. I will present to you the common methods uh, of risk measurement um, and you will have a first introduction to derivatives and uh, hedging. So this is the part where we have um, some intersection with the classes uh, by Professor Schumacher on derivatives and I want to explain to you why we need risk management economically and also why it's mandatory for banks um, and mandated by, sorry, um, by regulators. Okay, so that's the course objective and as I mentioned before, um, we'll stop here um, and continue um, in the next session with the, the real start uh, to financial risk management. So um, thanks for the attention in this video. I will now stop the recording and uh, talk a little bit to you afterwards. Thank you.